Hello, it's today, John from UNA. Today we're out here at Goodworks. Goodworks Racing? Yeah. Is that Goodworks, Goodworks Racing. This is Sam from Goodworks. Hi, I'm Sam from Goodworks. <laughs> Hi. What's Goodworks about? It's about Hondas and racing. Yeah. And fun. Fun, 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 fun! We're here at Goodworks to do an engine swap. We're putting that D, D15 VTEC? Yeah, D15? D15 VTEC Carby engine. Sam's gonna help us, and the boys from Goodworks here, they're gonna help us put it in my little AD, which is currently an auto D15 non VTEC. Um, so we're gonna whack that in there. These guys from Goodworks, they've got a whole bunch of Hondas here. We met them out of the track once. Oh, car friend! They specialize really in Hondas and engine swaps, that kind of stuff. I'll put links to all their stuff below. Let's get on with the, what was I gonna say? Let's get on with the, the install. swap. Let's get on with the install. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fifth screw at the moment. You're up to your fifth screw. My fifth screw on the interior. Okay, and these guys have like taken off the front the, bar, the, the taken front, off the The engine's lights, almost out there. And, um, and you've done five screws. Ah, uh, sorry, seven now, thank you. Seven, good work, mate, killing it. It's a single pulley harmonic balancer. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fam. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. Usually there'll be one, there'll be three, one for an alternator, one for power steering and aircon. Yep. This one's a single one. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then I noticed the belt was really slack. Okay. Now look at the alternator. There's a snap bolt and in there's it. There's a bolt inside there. Yeah. No so that's good. not good. That's not what you want. Nah. Alternator's going to flap around. Yep. We don't like flap. Oh my God, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. A 10 second car. 10 second car. Mm. It runs well, um, doesn't leak any oil. Pretty clean car all around. It's, got a, it's got a dreadful wrap on it. It's kind of dreadful. No. Apparently, this is good for uh, lubrication. So, that right there helps with the lubrication of the engine. Yeah. Lunch, Lady Doris. Have oh, you got any grease? Yes, yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman. So, ready to put that engine in here? Yeah. This one here is going to go in there, that one that's, there. That's, that's we the, were going to do this swap, but um, we've just, this is a better engine. Yeah, it's a better engine. Engine's out. Well done. That was <laughs> legit all you. And yeah, legit. I, not I, you. I you did you, you shit all. So did I. None of us did anything. What a joke. Is it Domino's? Let's get this out of the way. Huh? Domino's? 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 Trees close, pizza boy. Find another way home. Goddamn street racer. I'm not going to give you the update because we haven't done anything. Goodworks has done everything. Where are we on? So um, we've got the motor out of the um, out of Eddie. 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 Yeah. 
it was harder than we thought, eh? Yeah, there was a lot of uh, complicated things that we've never run into before. But we got there. Every time we'd try to jump in and help, there was just too many people there and all hands on deck by them, so we just let them do their thing. You've had a look at the new engine? Yep. We've noticed there's a little problem. There's a few little issues. Yep. The old engine ran a mechanical fuel pump and it looks like the new engine ran an air fly system. Donor car ran a mechanical, so we don't have anything to take off the donor car and put in there. Yeah, so, so we need to run a, um, an external fuel pump, which will be powered by 12 volts. Powered from the ignition. Yep. So that we do not have, but we can do almost everything but that. We've got all the shifter linkage and everything from the donor car, and we'll do pretty much everything we can. Transfer everything over that's there that we have today, and then start searching for the parts. Yeah, yeah it's been a good day. It's been a good day. They did an all-nighter. They went from like four. Wait, when, when did you finish it? Like, oh, but these guys finish at like six in the morning. Finish at <laughs> six in the morning. Before. Engine swaps, engine swaps on engine swaps. All right, that's it. What are you doing, Joe? Dying. Dying? Yeah. Why are you dying? Taking out a bitch, bitch pin. Are you a bitch? Bitch pin, which yeah, is? So where the shift linkage is, yeah. there's this fantastic hollow metal pin that's like fucking wedged. So they could have put a screw in there, a bolt. Could have put a bolt, could have put anything, put a, even a bit of plastic, a fucking zip tie. But instead no. we've got this. So I've got some bolt, a perfect size bolt that goes right in there. Yeah. And just got to whack the shit out of it with a hammer. Yeah, nice. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. It's great success, yeah? Mm, not yet. So we are in our little shit box donor car. We pretty much bought this car for two things. The shift linkages, which we've already taken out, and also the pedal box, which is under there. So I've been under here, I was under here for about an hour or two yesterday, breaking my back, and now I'm under here again. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've taken out all the bolts that I can get to, but now the final bolts I need to get to, I'm gonna have to drop the actual steering column. As you can see, it's kind of wobbly. I've already taken a couple out. But we've got to get under and take out a few more bolts in order to completely drop this and then get to the pedals. Big job. Yeah, the fucking new shifter, mate. Oh, mate, so we need some skitties for the kitties. Put it in second, hold it about four and a half grand, and then dump the clutch, then just hold it, then just hold it about three quarters, and then hit third, then just flatten it, it'll just spin to help my smoke. A new shitter. Is she, is she smooth? How does she shift? Very, very tight, nice short throw. <laughs> Doesn't crunch. Um, it's a K Sport shifter. K Sport shifter. K Sport shifter. What do you reckon about K Sport shifters? No comment. <laughs> Look at that face. The look of disappointment. He's walking away. He's gone. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? One week later. What are you doing? 
I am attaching these ugly stock ex extractors, stock rusty four to one straight away extractors. It's unfortunate. However, this thing underneath it, this stock cross member is in the way and blocking these. And unfortunately, this is all too big with all these pipes going in and it hits that stock um, cross member there. So we've got to actually get a different lightweight racing cross member that's thinner and has a different route so then we can fit these. But for now, we're going to run the stock ones. Drive shafts in. That's it. That's My drive shafts in. My drive shafts are in. And you did up these bolts here at the side, yeah? Yeah, the 32mm 32 mil, 32 mil nut. Not sorry. I've got to smash in that little um, that little pinch. Yes. That actually locks it in. Yeah. Which is right. right which here. When we were doing Elmo, we forgot to take out that we pinch before it. we tried to undo that's it. That's why we had a, uh, what was it about? We three had or like four five meter. extenders kind of get the yeah. reach and. Okay. Yes! <laughs> But it's done. Yep. Dave's just doing the exhaust now. Julie, how you going? Oh, uh, could be better. I've seen better days. Put my face in my hair. What's left for the exhaust driller? Just this joint here with the springs. Yeah. But it's not going in properly. Make it fit. And um, Sam's helping out a lot as well. And Hi, Hi Sam. Sam! Why do you have a funnel? Because I'm about to fill her up. So you're putting the petrol in here? Yeah. And yeah. then we'll be good to crank over in a sec. Yeah, man. That's that's the uh, that's the theory. Is that lightweight green petrol? Yeah. So two liters of this plus two liters of water. I think that's the multi-purpose stuff isn't it goes in the engine fuel the diff the gearbox yeah. put it in everything yeah, yeah. blinker fluid brake fluid washer fluid. Wash fluid whatever you want multi purpose does it all I want your it's like windex put some windex oh god please please oh. all right dave don't tell us what happened to you just then i don't want to talk i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it that used to be full of coolant and then what happened The hero that I am, I was underneath the car, you know, plugging up the fucking the tranny with the plug, and you know, I think I'm, I'm doing a great job, and then all of a sudden I get fucking got green shower. <laughs> Step into my office. Would you like now to? is when we detonate the engine. Can you explain that again? Sorry. Now is when we detonate the engine when you try to start the engine and it blows up. We'll go. Let's have a look. Send it. Is that heavy part? No. Just send it. Oh, your alarm's off. If, it's, if it has a mobilizer, it won't crank. Mobilizer. Ah! We